So this is a quick update to the video I did about retargeting Mixamo and the UE4 mannequin. Um, there's a slight issue really. If you're using an IK system and animations from Mixamo, then you're going to run into a problem perhaps. Uh, so let's look at this animation. So there's two things that might happen. One, the feet are really wide apart and they shouldn't be like that. Or two, no, that's the correct one. Um, let's see, this one? Yeah. So, or your feet are sliding around like this. The reason for this is the IK bones. So you've got the root, the left, and the right on your IK for the mannequin. But on your um, Minxamo skeleton, there will be no bones. Um, I've added virtual bones, but that's not how to solve this problem. Um, that's for when you want to go back to a Minxamo character. So there is a way to fix this. Um, so what we want to do firstly in the retarget manager we want to give some animation to those IK bones so the way we get that we go to advanced and towards the bottom we have the IK foot root IK foot L so here normally they will be set like this um, what we need to do is go to the um, original skeleton, the Mixamo skeleton. So we need to set, so this is on advanced, not on base, on advanced. We go to the IK here because we're on the humanoid rig. So we've got the IK foot root, we just set that to root. IK foot L, we set it to foot L, IK foot R, we set it to R. Okay, so that way the animations will get dragged through to the IK bones when it gets retargeted to the um, UE4 mannequin, in this case the ALS mannequin. So here we can see if we turn it off. I've already made the changes so you can't really see, but if this is off, uh, so if this is enabled, usually the th the feet will widen, so they will go to a default position, the same position it would in the A pose. So your right foot would be here, and your uh, your left foot would be here, and your right foot would be here, because it's the IK bones are still in the are still in the A pose. They don't get transferred to the T pose. So maybe actually. If you, no, that won't work. Never mind. Forget that. Um, maybe if you retarget a T pose, but I don't think that will work. Anyway, but the method I've done is to go into the skeleton, and you need to do this manually. So your roots in the correct position anyway. That's not a big deal. But this one, the original position of this would be here where my mouse cursor is and the position of this one will be here so you just need to move it to match the foot position so you can use if you go to instead of perspective um, we get front uh, and that way you can do the left foot and you want to match it as closely as possible with the left foot so we click on foot, foot L we click on IK foot L and we try and match that position so you need to do that from front and left so we've got foot L IK foot L so it will be over here or something you need to drag it to that position and match it as closely as possible uh, the other one we've got is foot R and we've got IK foot R as you can see I've already matched them uh, so let's look from Front. Let's look from back for the right foot. So that would be the right foot. We zoom in. Foot R. 
IK for R. Right. So they're pretty perfect the way I've lined them up. So it takes a little bit of tweaking to get that to work properly. But now they match the position. Okay, there's actually a couple of things I should mention um, that I forgot. Um, you need to save the skeleton. And another thing you should do is create asset, create animation, and create a reference pose. That way, um, in a different project or whatever, you've always got that reference pose with your corrected IK bones to make sure they're in the right place. Because if you're going to open this in, in another project, your reference pose won't be saved. So that's another tip uh, to do. Um, but you need to make sure you save the skeleton. And also, when you modify pose, use current pose. So you need to do that. Uh, okay, um, let's go back to perspective. Right, so now when you actually come to do your retarget, so let's let's do this melee attack. So we'll the same method as before. Duplicate. We choose the skeleton we want to target. You can see now that those feet are actually in a different position. The method I explained before, those those feet would be spread. But when you're not when you're doing an animation that is in place and the feet don't step around, it's fine. But when you're doing something like an attack or something like that, the feet move, so they need to react correctly with the ground, um, and they would be in the wrong place, the IK bones at least. So, um, let me just, I'm just gonna put ALS in front of this because I'm using ALS. Uh, and we're going to put this one in the melee animations. Okay, so that should retarget. Okay, so that's gone through. Okay, that's pretty normal for when you turn it off and on. Uh, so enabled. Okay, this looks right. Okay, so now when we use this, it will work correctly. And this is what you need to do for the root motion animations. Um, it will, you're not going to be able to do it without doing this step. And this should make it work correctly now. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. Thanks a lot.